The 17-year-old from Aurora had a profile on the website ModelMayhem.com. The site claims to help models get work. Her family thinks a predator saw her online profile, met up with her, and may be holding her. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you have seen by the title of this video, this is something totally different than my normal videos. But I really feel like I have to film this because someone has tried to scam me and I almost fell for it. And I feel like I really need to share this with you all because they just handled it all so professional that I'm almost 100% sure that people are going to fall for this. So I'm just going to share you my story and hopefully I can help you guys to get more aware of this situation. So what happened was that I received an email from a person that told me she worked for Glamour magazine. And they basically wanted to hire me as a makeup artist to do makeup on three of their models for their upcoming magazine. So this is the email that I received, this is like the first email. And um, if you want to read it, just pause the video and you can see exactly what they said to me. But they just basically asked me if I was interested in the job. And I felt like for me this was like a super cool opportunity. I personally don't work like as a makeup artist doing makeup on other people. But I felt like the experience would just be super awesome and I definitely wanted to work with Glamour magazine. I do have to say the first thing that like caught my attention was that I found it a bit weird that the text was blue. I felt like if you copy a text and you insert it in an email, I believe it gets blue if you do that, I'm not sure. But I felt that was a bit weird, but I did not think a lot from it. And the first thing I do when I receive an email, which I'm not 100% sure of if it's true, like this was a bit like too good to be true in my eyes. So I like typed her email in Google and the first link that showed up was like a LinkedIn account from Jennifer Mulrow, which is a assistant beauty editor at Glamour. So I felt like, oh, okay, that looks like this is like a real person. So if you check the third link that it shows once you apply her email address in Google, it shows watch out for job offer scams. So I have to be completely honest, I didn't see this. Once like I was emailing with them and I searched for email, I did not see this. I was so focused on the LinkedIn account and the second link which showed like her um, official website that I didn't see this, which is super weird because if I would have seen this, I would know it was scam straight away. But I guess I was so focused on being excited and happy that I didn't see this. But I will come back later on about what this exactly is. But at that moment, I didn't see this. So I decided to click on the first link just to check out her LinkedIn account. And it all show, looked like super professional. It showed that she was a assistant beauty editor at Glamour. Um, her name was the same as the email and also it showed she was working for Glamour for quite some time. So I really had like a good feeling about this, that this was like the real person behind this email. So I emailed them back and I told them I was interested and then I received this email, which has like all the information on what they expect from me on the day of the shoot, like all the details and again the text is blue which is strange but I didn't felt like much of it so they told me I would get 2000 euros for this job and they would like um, pay 50% upfront which I felt like was fair and also when like companies send you 50% um, upfront it just gives you a feeling of trust so I felt like this was okay. Um, I've never worked for a magazine, so I wasn't really sure like what the rates are. So I was just like, okay, with 2000, I already found like an amazing experience to work for Glamour. And also they told me in this email that they would like provide the hotel accommodation. They would pay for the travel and everything. They would like handle everything. So I just felt like it was a cool experience. So I replied to them that everything sounds well to me and I was that I was still interested and they replied with this email and the first thing I noticed was like hey this is not a blue email <laughs> the text was black this time and um, they told me I could take my manager or assistant with me because I asked 
if I could take my manager with me, and I was totally fine with them. So that was cool to hear. Like, it's better to travel with someone instead of alone.、Um, also, they asked me for like my passport details,、um, like all the details to like book the tickets for the plane. So that kind of gave me a feeling like I could trust them because they were already thinking about booking the tickets. I don't know. It just gave me a professional feeling. I don't know. Then they said, listed below are the materials you would be needing for the upcoming shoot, and then they say like a professional makeup kit, lights, a professional makeup kit in medium, and a professional makeup kit in dark. And I felt like this was a little bit weird because, as far as I know, I have I don't have experience with doing a shoot, but I felt like normally. People will bring like their own makeup kit with them, like makeup artists. They have their own kit with products they like to work with,、um, unless it's like a shoot for Urban Decay cosmetics, for example. Then of course you use the products from Urban Decay. But I felt like for a glamour magazine, you just take your own makeup products with you. But that wasn't the case, and the reason they gave is. That they didn't want it to face the challenge they had during their last shoot. That some of their makeup artists were, which they hired, didn't have all the necessary products to use on different skin type models. I'm not sure if they mean like skin colors or skin types like dry or oily. So I felt like okay, I can imagine if you have like had bad experience, that you as a magazine now provide the makeup. So you don't like get that problem. I felt like it was a bit weird, but I could imagine. Even though I'm like, if you, you just need to make sure you hire a professional person that just has products for every skin color and every skin type. I mean, that's just something a makeup artist needs to have. Like, but I felt like okay, maybe this is just the way glamour works. So. I don't know. I didn't know what to think, but the email did say I had to purchase the kits.、Um, now I'm from the Netherlands, so my English isn't hundred percently perfect. So I wasn't really sure if they were going to pay it for me or if I had to pay it. But I just assumed that I will get back the money because you could see they said funds will be made available to you for the purchase of the materials. So I felt like, oh, okay. They will give me like money to purchase the kits. So in order to like、um, get these professional makeup kits, I had to contact Lucy Peters, and they provided me with a email address. So I emailed Lucy straight away, and I just said, "Hello, my name is Anne Knoek. I'm emailing you regards makeup kits that I need for a shoot with Glamour magazine. These are the following kits they require me to get. Looking forward to hear from you." Then 30 minutes later, they responded and they told me, "Thank you for reaching out. The products for the upcoming shoot for Glamour magazine are ready, available, and these are the prices they are currently sold for." So it's a total of two thousand thirty-seven dollar, and they say it contains Tarte, Morphe, Anastasia Beverly Hills, Mac Cosmetics, like all, like a lot of big brands. So the price of the kits are quite high, but. Looking at the products that are in it, I think it's like a reasonable price. But besides that, I have enough money at my house. I have makeup for every skin color, every skin type, so I don't need these kits. But if Glamour wants me to have them, okay. But as long as they pay for it, because I don't need it. I can bring my own makeup with me, you know. So I just read on, and they said you are required to pay a commitment fee of a thousand dollars to begin the ordering process. They said it was like a peak period.、Um, they had like a lot of clients, so I had to be early in order to get my kits. And the last sentence is: you will deduct this commitment fee. You are to pay out of pocket from the total amount when you have the fund released to you by Glamour. So I wasn't really sure what that meant. So I just forwarded this email to the person I spoke with,、um, with Glamour, and just to see what she would say that I had to do right now. So I received the email back from Jennifer, which pretends she works for Glamour. After I forwarded the email about the makeup kits to her, 
and she says, good to know you have received a response from Lucy Peters. I received the quote you just forwarded to me. As earlier stated, the funds for the purchase will be made available to you together with your 50% deposit. So remember in her second email, she told me I would earn $2,000 and they will pay me like 50% upfront. I guess she means to say that I will get my 50%, which is a total of $1,000, together with the money for the kids. So then I continue reading and I feel like they kind of tried to give me the feeling that I need those kids as soon as possible because there might be a chance that there aren't enough anymore. So the sooner the better. And of course, if you're a makeup artist, this is something you really want to do. You want to work with glamour, so you don't want to ruin this chance. So you want to get those kids as soon as possible. So she says, so therefore you are to proceed immediately to make out the commitment fee to her out of pocket today. So she can have your kids processed alongside your counterparts. You will be reimbursed of this fee, which could come along with your 50% compensation deposit. So English is not my birth language, so she's saying a few more things, but I don't really understand. But only this sentence already like made some alarm bells going on in my head. I showed this email to my partner and he was like, uh, wait until I get home. I will look into it before you like transfer any money. So I said, okay. And um, I decided to dig a little bit deeper into those email addresses. So I went back to the email from Lucy Peters, which I had to email about the makeup kits. So I copied her email address and I passed it in Google to see what it shows. And right away it shows two posts about scam. So at that time I already knew this is not good. I just felt like, okay, my guts were right. Something is going on. So I clicked on the website and the first website, it was called Glamour Magazine Scam. I couldn't really find a story that was like the same as mine. Like the emails they are showing are not like exactly the same. So I wasn't really sure what to think of this yet. But to me, this really shows that like it's a common thing. It happens more often that people pretend they work for a magazine and this way they kind of try to get models and stuff. So then I checked the second website and this is where things get kind of freaky. This is a post that someone made that had like a sort of same experience as I had. So you can see they're saying we are hiring makeup artists for December edition of InStyle magazine. So in this case, these people are pretending they're from InStyle magazine. And in my case, they're pretending they're from Glamour. Um, then they say, I came across your profile on Model Mayhem while scouting for talents that will suit the case. I'd be glad working with you. And if you are looking to expand your portfolio, working with InStyle magazine is just right. So if you compare this with my email, it's exactly the same, except they said they are from Glamour magazine and that they came across me through Facebook. So then I scroll down on the website and this person shows the second email she received from those people. And it's exactly the same as what they sent to me. Like everything is the same except for the amount of money that they say she would earn. But the rest is just exactly the same. So I'm not really sure if those are the same people um, or maybe it's a group of people that do it like this, but this is just really weird. So the person that emailed me that's like pretending she's from Glamour magazine, she stated in her first email that she found me on Facebook. Well, this person on this website, which I found, she has the exact same emails, but they told her they found her on Model Mayhem because she had an account on that website. Well, there's something going on with this website, which I will show you. A news alert. It's a website matching models with professional photographers. But the parents of two missing teens in Colorado say it's also a way for predators to find victims. Seven News reporter Mark Stewart live. Now, Mark, we understand there is new hope in one of these cases. Mike, after 21 days of silence, Raven Furlong's mother got a phone call from her daughter today simply to say that she is alive, but nothing more. 
Tonight, her family feels a popular modeling website may have contributed to her disappearance. She said that she couldn't talk, she's got to go, it's not her phone. Yet Raven Furlong's mother feels the phone call from her daughter is a morsel of hope that she will be home sometime soon. I'm still really scared for her and I'm very nervous. The 17 year old from Aurora had a profile on the website modelmayhem.com. The site claims to help models get work. Her family thinks a predator saw her online profile, met up with her, and may be holding her. There might be some legitimate photographers on there, but I think that it's it's a gateway for trafficking young women. Another missing woman, Cara Nichols, also had a profile and is still yet to be found. And this woman telling Seven News she was sexually abused after she too posted on the site. I went willingly to what I thought was a job in Arizona and then when I was there I was held against my will to have sex. Yet Raven's family is focusing on the future and a safe reunion. I want to bring my niece home and I want to prevent anybody else from going through what our family is going through. And late today a spokesperson from the website sent me an email saying the company will comply if they are contacted by the police in any way to help with this investigation. We should also point out they feel that they have safeguards in place to report any kind of uncomfortable or unusual interactions. We are live in Denver tonight. Mark Stewart, 7 News. Okay, so I don't have an account on that website, but they are using the same method to contact people. So I really wanted to share this video to warn you guys because this is just terrible. And if I can just help by spreading the news or make you guys more aware that if you receive an email that you just really dig into it to make sure that you can 100% trust this person because if it's really true that there are people missing, um, if there are people that get raped, it's just so terrible and I don't wish anyone to go through this. So um, I'm just going to quickly show you um, with these emails on which I should have looked at earlier in order to kind of prevent that I even emailed back to them. So I just want to teach you some things and hopefully this will be helpful. So the first thing I think is most important, which I also did, but I didn't make a mistake, is that you Google the email address. For example, if you look at the email address they used to email me, you can see they clearly used a number one in the email address. And if you go to her official website, you can see that her original email doesn't have a number one in it. So I feel like I could have seen this. I, I just didn't see it. And I think this has something to do with that. I was so excited and I just only looked at the good side. Also, when I typed in her email address in Google, this website showed up that I just showed you guys, which had that video about the missing girls. So I could have known if I saw it but i didn't saw this until now unfortunately if you go to the glamour website you can see that this girl jennifer milro is a existing person that works at glamour so the person that emailed me is just pretending that she's her and that's why i fell for it it's only that they started about the makeup kits that i felt like something is wrong but besides that i really was convinced that i was talking with her also, I checked YouTube, but I couldn't find anything about it. I think because they contacted me through Facebook and I don't have like a super big audience on there, they don't know that I'm a YouTuber. At least that's what I'm thinking. So I'm going to end this video. I really hope I made you all a bit more aware that there are just cruel people in this world that are trying to scam us. And uh, it would be amazing if you share this video with your friends or on your Facebook. Um, just so anyone would know that these things are going on and if you have any tips on how to get more like aware with emails if you have any tips like how to notice scammers post it in the comments I think everyone would really appreciate that if you have any other tips and yeah I just hope this video is helpful thank you for watching and yeah hope you have a lovely day bye guys